everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial in this video guys I'm going to show you uh, multiple ways how you can clean data in Excel without the need of doing many manual or much manual input as you can see in this Excel sheet I have this this text input I have got it let's say from a friend however there are multiple spaces between different lines so in the first or in the first row it shows that the data is correct there is not many space the space are correct but in the second one there are two spaces between welcome and two and in the third one there is space before welcome and space between two and the name and in the last one when I click in it takes me to the end so there are multiple spaces as you can see so here it comes the trick because if you have many lines of data which you will have to deal with and doing it manually melt may take from you so much time uh, so to do that very fast we will call a function called trim so we put the equal sign we type trim and we select it the trim function removes space from text so here another trick that we don't need to retype again manually the text we can just click again in the row which we want and then we close the the function we click out it will remove the space and then we click and drag and the function is automatically applied to each row and the space has been removed from each this is very handy and very useful especially if you have thousands of lines with text which contains incorrect incorrect spacing between the words and between the lines so you can use it to correct that now we'll go back to the top in the second trick I'm going to show you how you could fill in multiple empty space in an Excel uh, table so let's say this is the list of our students and many of them they have blank cells in their mark tables this is m the, might be due to that they didn't appear in the day of that specific exam so if you have a huge table where there are many students and you have to fill in each one of them with not appearing manually it's very tiring and time taking so to avoid that all what you have to do you go to find and select you click on it and go to special and here we will select blanks you can do it in a different way you just press the key F5 in your keyboard this will open the special dialog box here we are going to select special and we are going to stick blanks we are going to select OK and here you see that there is the first cell which is in white this is the selected cells so don't worry you will be able to type in all of them at once but what you will have to do you will have to type first your text let's type the text so did not appear and press control enter in the same time as you can see all of the empty cells has been filled in with the text which we have just typed and this is comes very handy and useful if you are dealing with hundreds of lines of data entry in the second trick or third trick uh, I'm going to show you how you can convert numbers stored as text into numbers again so to understand the problem as you can see here I have a number and usually the numbers when are when they are typed into an Excel sheet or workbook they always appear on the right side of the cell otherwise the text they always appear on the left side as you can see so the same number which is 125 in this case it is stored as number and here it is stored as uh, text to understand why we have really to convert all the numbers into numbers and not leave it stored as text I'm going to show you so for example you want to do a function to compare if uh, if something is greater than uh, if a number is greater than another number so let's put in the cell D let's put the number 200 and here we're going to type a function of greater than so we are going to select D2 greater or superior to a2 so here w the the statement is true so Excel tells us yes the 200 is greater than 125 however for the others 
when we apply the same function it will say false for the simple reason that Excel considers that any text is greater than any number whatever is that number text is always greater and since this number has been stored as text it will always come back that this text are greater than numbers to correct that there are two ways you can always just select drag and you can click on this little case and you can type or select number and this should solve the issue just for the initial one however as you can see the second one still appearing on the left and still showing the number now with the latest versions of Microsoft uh, Office Excel you can do it very easily so let's go back to our text as you can see whenever I click on those two text which uh, two, two numbers stored as text there is this little box appearing the number in this it says when you put the mouse on it the number in this cells is formatted as text or preceded by an apostrophe to correct that we'll have just to drag on the second one and on any number of cells and we click on this little arrow and we select convert to number straight it has been corrected so now it's appearing on the right side of the cell we are going just again to drop drag our function to see if the statement will will change the changement didn't change uh, and state false because here we have the wrong formula so we are just uh, comparing the the cell number d3 which has no data so when we type the number 200 the statement change and again it change so the next trick to avoid the need to do that to type again in the same number in multiple cells we're going just to delete we're going to delete these functions we will go to the initial function and here we're going to put the dollar sign and next to the number 2 again the dollar sign and we'll press enter and then we're gonna drag and here it says true while, while we enter this dollar sign next to the to the number of the cells so this will apply that the number 200 will be always compared to A2, A3, A4 the, the column which we have selected after in this table we have multiple data entry for some of the students however many of them are multiple entries so to get rid of multiple entries in a table or in a sheet there are two ways to do that the first way we will go to conditional formatting but before we'll select our table completely and we'll click on conditional formatting and here we'll go highlight cells rules and we're going to select duplicate values as soon as we do that the the excel formula will highlight all the values which are repetitive so here we'll just click OK. Here you can select duplicate or unique. I will leave it as duplicate and we're going to click OK. So here it shows us in the student names, it shows us the repetitive names. Here it shows in math and physics and biology, it shows the values which are being repetitive. This is not really much handy. However, it's really very helpful to identify the duplicates. Now I'll just press Ctrl Z to go back. Now we will go to insert sorry we will go to data and we will select our table and we'll click on remove duplicates we're going to click uh, my data has headers so make sure to select my data has headers because otherwise it will consider the headers as part of the data which it has to be matched and in the columns make sure to select all the columns which you want to compare and just click OK it says here four duplicate value found and removed eight unique value remain so to explain to you the principle uh, if the same value is being repeated like for example in this uh, in the case of Alex and Alex if the same data is being repeated which is for math physics and biology the same numbers then the second one would have been removed however if there is only one data entry which is not matching then the row or the column will be left there and you can always just click save and this should save your work sometimes when we are working on with multiple data lines 
we have some errors which occurs and we would like to highlight those errors for example in the case of this table I have companies and I have revenue net income and the net income in percentage I calculated the net income percentage by dividing the net income of each year by the revenue for each year however as I can see for the year 2018 we are 2019 and I'm trying let's say to calculate for 2018 and there is an error appearing so to f to highlight those errors there are multiple methods or three methods let's say and here you can just click on the row click data click add filter and select the filter from the year which where you see the errors appearing select all we'll just select the error and we'll click OK this is very easy and useful filter but this only you can apply it if you have only one column which contain errors if there are multiple columns which contain errors then there is more problems and you cannot apply the filter so we'll just deselect the filter so how to how to fix that you will have to go back home and you select the table where there is the errors appearing you click on conditional formatting you click new rule here we're going to select format only cells that contain and here format only cells with we are going to select errors we're going to select format and here we're going to select fill to put a color and we're going to click OK and we're going to click again OK so as you can see the two cells which contain errors has been highlighted with red S this is the second method I'm going just to click Control Z to go back so then the next method will just click or press F5 on your keyboard go to s the go to special box will appear we'll select special and here formulas and we'll just select numbers text logical and we'll just select errors and we'll click OK and here as you can see it selected only the two boxes so we can click to highlight it within fill and here we have them selected again to change the content of the sum cells which contain errors you will have to select the table where the errors are appearing and you click or press F5 on your keyboard the go to special box will appear you click special we we'll select formulas we we'll select errors we we'll select OK will highlight and the first cell is selected so you have just to input the data which you want to and don't press enter you have to press control enter and this will be applied to all the cells which contain errors and which has been selected within that table as you can see I have here a list of student names and each name uh, is entered differently some with uppercase some with lowercase some with proper case so these names are totally messed up and it's not really synchronized and this is usually happen when you copy paste from uh, data from a text um, or when you receive multiple excel sheet or workbook from different people so to solve this problem and if you want to work only with lowercase so we'll just select a formula called lower we'll click on it and here we're going to select the text as soon as we will click on the name which we want to select uh, the in the, in the version of Microsoft uh, Excel 2010 13 16 and 19 the quick analysis will apply the same to the names on uh, uh, automatically so you will see and I will just press enter and as you can see this has been applied to all the names to select just the uppercase or to have only the uppercase appearing we'll use the formula of upper and we'll just select the first name press enter and it should be applied to all names and to have only proper so we'll just type proper we'll select that function we'll select the name which we want and it should should apply to all names this comes very handy and useful when you have multiple or a huge name list which you have to correct the typing and also when you want to save some time on editing your tables and your workbooks let's say I have this data addresses and I would like to sh to share it into locality city and country the separator between each type of data locality city and, and country is the comma so to share it into locality city and country we go to data we select first our table where the information start and where it finish and we select text to columns 
delimited here uh, Excel is asking if there is a delimiter uh, something which delimit each type of, inform of information in my case it's a comma and here it asks also if it's fixed width so I would suggest you to use delimited type and we click next and here we will have to select delimiters so it might be tab comma semicolon space if it's something other like question mark you can always type other and enter the type however in my case since it's a comma I will just click comma and I will click just next here it is asking the destination so I will just select destination if if you select the same co the same column which is a the the data will be overwritten so make sure that you select another column so I'll just put it on B2 and I will just click to see and click finish and we just click OK and as you can see my addresses has been shared into locality city and country this is comes also very handy when you have a list of clients addresses which you would like to share into this kind of data so that later you can filter by country or by city or by locality uh, Microsoft Excel doesn't have very strong or very big dictionary to do the spelling correction however it's still enough to do some basic spell checking so just select the text which you want to uh, to check the spelling you press F7 and here it will uh, suggest to you some correction for example here I have created gr I have written great uh, incorrectly so we will just click change and on the next line it shows Excel is great is incorrect so here is the correct suggestion and I will just click change however sometimes it might show you multiple suggestion suggestions and there you can go and select the one which fits you and which fits the meaning which you want we'll just click change we'll click OK and the correction has been done we'll just click save to replace a data entry or a name so we can always always use the search function we'll just click and press Control F we will type the name which we want to change or the data type it might be a number or a text we click find next find all we scroll here we go to replace so here before we have seen that we have two locations and here we can always place it so it says cell a2 cell a a9 so the little square moves so here we'll go to replace and we'll just here we have the find what the name for example Alexander replace with I would just put Alex you can also put numbers Alex 23 and you can either replace just the first one replace or you can just click replace all and this should replace all of them so it says all done we made plus number of the placement you just click OK you click close and you click save and this is how you can update data into a multi especially if you have a huge table with the same name being repetitive and you would like to update the surname of a client or whatever you can use this search function plus replace to do that to delete all the formatting there are multiple choices so first we'll just select our table and here we have to go to clear Clicking clear all will delete everything or all the data which you have. Clear formats will remove all the colors and formulas. So whenever you click somewhere, it will show you that the formulas has been incorrectly cleared. And clicking only, as you can see in some cases, here I have a comment. Whenever I click on here or pull the mouse, put the mouse, it shows a comment. So you can always go select your table and you can click clear comments it will remove all the comments from the table it does so that it doesn't appear again next what you can do you can also clear either the content of the table or you can clear the hyperlinks the hyperlinks for example here I have www.google.com so I'll just click and clear hyperlinks so before hyperlinks is when you click on it it will redirect you to a website so to remove that just select everything and click clear hyperlinks and you can even remove them if you want to so again 
and now it's only website names without uh, external redirection so I will just go ahead and click clear contents and also clear all and this should bring me back to the initial look of my sheet to revert you just click ctrl Z and you click as many times as you want so that you can go back to the initial state